The Indianapolis Colts have got some backup in case Peyton Manning's recovery from neck surgery lingers into the regular season. Colts owner Jim Ursay says the team has signed veteran QB Kerry Collins to a one-year deal. Collins is 38. He's played in 195 NFL games. Things keep getting worse for the Cards. They were whipped by the Dodgers yesterday in St. Louis, 9-4. L.A. completes the three-game sweep. Jaime Garcia, seven runs and in five innings. He has struggled mightily in the second half. Milwaukee lost to Pittsburgh, 2-0. Brewers and the Pirates split a four-game series there. Cards are still 10 out, 67-63. and 32 games remain. They host the Pirates tonight, 7-15 at Bush Stadium. Jackson versus Morton. Chicago was a winner, 3-2 over Atlanta. Cubs and Braves, 120 at Wrigley Field today. Aramas Ramirez extended his hit streak to 13. He'll go for 14, and Matt Garza will make the start for Chicago. The White Sox were shut out by the Angels, 8 to nothing, but they did not lose any ground. Tampa Bay over Detroit, 3-2 in 10. Southsiders are 6.5 out. Cleveland, 6 behind the Tigers. They were no match for Seattle, 9-2. The Miners were victorious again, 9-3 over the Gateway Grizzlies. One day after clinching a playoff spot, Matt Fields with his 16th home run will block his 16th home run. Four runs, sixth inning, broke it open. The Miners took an 8-1 lead there, and they win it once again, 9-3. That's 11 straight wins at Rent One Park, a new franchise record. They will go for their fourth consecutive home series sweep tonight at 7:05. Little League Baseball, Montana beat California to advance to the United States Championship. MLB Commissioner Bud Selig says the ideal of holding the 2014 All-Star Game at Wrigley Field is appealing, but says there are some hurdles to cross before the game can be awarded to the stadium, which would celebrate its centennial that year. Former Cy Young winner Mike Flanagan, who won 167 games over 18 seasons, mostly with the Orioles, has died at the age of 59. No details to indicate why.